Hey everyone, this is Matt of Cigar Hound Dog with another cigar review. And today I'll be smoking El Pupo by Artesano del Tobacco in Robusto Grande. This here is a 5x56 ring gauge box press Robusto Grande. Quite the square box press as well. Nothing rectangular about this one. Nicely packed foot. There's a wrapper. Dark brown in color, some reddish hues. Very smooth wrapper too. There are the bands. Love that El Pupo. And there's a cap. Nice looking and feeling cigar here. But yeah, as far as a blend goes, this one has a Mexican San Andreas wrapper, which I better know since it says it on the secondary band right there. Uh, that wrapper over Nick Roglin binder and fillers. And as far as my previous experience with Artesano Del Tobacco, I've had one other blend from them before that was the Viva La Vida. Good cigar, especially for it coming from an AJ Fernandez factory. If you watch my channel, you know I'm not the biggest fan of AJ because he makes so many pepper bombs. That Viva La Vida was not one of them though. Very good smoke. I've also done a short review of this El Pupo. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but I'll save the rest for the full review. I just wanted to give you my full thoughts on it. So because of that, I'm looking forward to it. Let's get it cut up, lit up, and see what we have. There's my cutter. Great draw. Alrighty, let's light it up. For being a cigar made at AJ's factory, it is not a pepper bomb to start. I'll take that. Uh, through the rectal hail, the main tone is pepper. It's a red pepper spice, but it's not blowing off my nose. Just slightly stinging my sinus. Mm. The main flavor on the palate is chocolate brownie. A ton of that flavor, it is freaking delicious. Already have a chewy smoke texture because of it too. Mmm. Chocolate brownie as an undertone through the retro hill. Also getting some rich oak as well through the retro palate. Sorry about that damn motorcycle. Really just snuck that in there. Also some espresso as an undertone through the retro palate. Mmm. So much of that chocolate brownie note. I'm really digging that. So yeah, right now I'll say medium to full body, chewy smoke texture, and a long ass finish. This thing is good to start. So I'll smoke it down through the end of the first third. Hopefully that burn line corrects too. Let you know how it goes. Hey, we have reached the end of the first third. Ash just fell off in one big chunk a little bit ago. Also, the burn line did not need to be corrected. It corrected itself. Great construction and still a lot of smoke. Mmm. Yeah. At this point, medium to full body, long finish, and a very chewy smoke texture. Delicious cigar so far. At this point, the chocolate brownie sweetness is the main tone on the palate, and it's also the main tone through the retro hill. The red pepper is backed off. It's just an undertone underneath that chocolate brownie sweetness, just slightly seeing in my sinus now. Mm. I'm also getting caramel sweetness. That is an undertone through the retro and palate. Great addition to the profile. Oak and also espresso undertones both to the retro and palate. So far, this has been a very decadent and delicious cigar. I'm really enjoying it. So I'll smoke it down through the end of the second third through that secondary band. Let you know how it goes. Hey, we are at the end of the second third. Just took off the primary band. But a nice looking burn line. Ash it not too long ago, and still plenty of smoke. Mm. 
Mmm. Yeah. At this point, medium to full body, long finish, and such a chewy smoke texture. Three main tones now. We have that chocolate brownie sweetness. We also have more of the espresso and more of the caramel sweetness. Those are the three main flavors here through the Retro on Palette. Such a decadently delicious cigar in the second third. Mmm. Damn. Even less of the red pepper spice through the retro hill. Not even stinging my sinus, just an undertone now. Also, oak and walnut now through the retro on palette is undertones. This cigar is continuing to impress me. Damn, I hope it has a strong finish. Strong in flavor, not strong in pepper spice, just a strong, flavorful finish. So I'll smoke it down through the end of the final third. You know my hopes are high for this one. Now it gives the final verdict. Hey, we have reached the end of this El Pupo. Nice looking burn line. Ash is kind of flaky, but still a lot of smoke. Mmm. Yeah, baby, at this point, medium to full body, long finish, and still a very chewy smoke texture. Two main tones. The chocolate brownie sweetness, that's still at the forefront. Also, espresso. Those are the two main flavors, both to the Retro and Palette. The caramel sweetness is still there, just as an undertone now to the Retro and Palette. The red pepper spice did ramp up. Not by a lot. It's just slightly stinging my sinus to the Retro Hill. And hints of oak and walnut to the Red John palette, and that is it as far as the flavors go. So overall, I'm gonna rate this cigar a memorable. It's funny because this cigar I rated a satisfying in my short review. I've had this particular cigar in my humidor for around two and a half months now, so I think the added time made it that much extra better. Do not sleep on Artisano Del Tobacco because anything they put out is really good to freaking great, like this cigar. This one is around $15 though. A little expensive, but well worth the price of admission in my opinion. And one last thing, do not forget to follow me on Rumble and Odyssey. With the way YouTube has been restricting and censoring cigar content lately, it is paramount that you know I am on other platforms like Rumble and Odyssey, just in case if YouTube pulls a plug in his ear, if you watch this on YouTube. Yeah, baby, really, really enjoyed this one. So yeah, everybody, this has been my review of the El Pupo by Artesano Del Tobacco in Robusto Grande. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you for the next view.